Welcome back to another video and today we got a mystery tackle box unboxing. We got a justice jig. It's like chartreuse in black. We got an LP30 lipless crankbait. We got some trocar four eye hooks. We got some byway crawls. And then we got some egg zone. Just some egg zone trick worms or something. And this is the sticker right here. It's like a Pac-Man. So we're going to go fish with these. It's like a little challenge. And so I'm probably going to start with this Justice Jig. And also, we have it's some catfish bait. Super sticky blood dip bait. So we're going to be using that as well. We got the uh, Lose Pro Ti on a Mojo Yak Rod. And then we got that little, I forgot what it's even called, but a little jig. And then we got favorite absolute rod with a Shimano KS, and we're about to use this dip bait. So this hook is not going to work because I need like the bait holder hooks. So I'm going to put some bacon on there, and then I'm going to dip it back in that. Just got the bacon on the hook, so now we're just going to dip it all in there. And get it all covered in there. That's what it looks like finished. So now we're just gonna let it sit all out over there, see if we catch anything. And while that's sitting, we're gonna use this little jig. So I'm gonna start throwing it around. I'm just gonna throw that by way of crawl in here just to make it a little heavier because it's messing up my rod. These are the crawls right here. I'm gonna throw them. I'm probably gonna rip like an inch off. Just like that. That right there should make it a little heavier and give it a little bit more action. fishing with this jig for a little while so I'm going to pop it off and put on I'm going to have to see what we got over there I might throw that big worm we'll probably pop on this big worm in a minute but for right now use this LP38 it's like a little lipless cream bait I'm pretty sure I already got one of these in my last mystery box it's just a little I don't even know what color that would be sexy shad maybe there it is right there
the blonde one. I'm gonna switch up to that big worm because this is just getting way too much grass on it. So, I'm probably just gonna use these four rods because they came in the box with it. I have my hooks, but I'm probably just gonna use the four rods. Usually three rods on my max. It's like a little chartreuse and it's like a clear with like some purple flake, purple red flake. So we're gonna get this tied on. Oh, what is that? Is that a... So I just got this worm Texas rig right here. It's weightless. So I'm just going to throw it now. They didn't give me no weights in the box, so I'm not going to use them. It's not enough weight, so I'm just going to put this drop shot weight on the hook. I know that's not how it's supposed to go. That's just how I'm going to do it. Just like that. I think this is called like a Sasatuki rig or something. So that's what I'm going to use. And always put the end of your hook in the bait. It makes it weedless. So there it is right there. Okay. So we just broke off that big worm right there on that log. So we gotta go retie up. Probably gonna throw this jig back around. Line got all knotted up, so we're gonna tie up a new. I'm gonna throw this little jig again around. We just got this tied on. It's this little jig right here. It's the one we were fishing with earlier. I don't know whether there's a chicken feather on there. Dog. Rip. That's actually dumb. <laughs> it's still on there. It looks a little nasty now. So, probably gonna throw it over here. It sucks to get braid through the hole. I'm just gonna cut off a little piece. Try to get it through there now. Two hours later. Alright, we finally got it. And then we're gonna use this other four out hook because I lost the other one. I heard these things are great, but they really weren't. I mean, I guess it did get stuck in the log and snap my line, so maybe that's a good thing. It's called the Palomar knot, I do. Let's do a couple twists. Go back through the hole. And then that hole that you made, go back through. Tie it down. Cut the tag in, just like that. Then we're gonna use this little crawl now, the Byway-O crawls, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. These little ones. We're just gonna Texas rig it through the head, out, up, and through the body, and then hitch it back through there. And so now we'll see how we get out. We're here to the next spot now. This is where we lost the last lure. We're just getting passed up in there. 
with this little crawl we got right here. So we just broke off again on that same log. I didn't even know there was one under that log. So we're gonna go retie again. I didn't bring none of my stuff with us. We just tied on this crankbait again. I've tied it with a uni knot instead of a palomar to make it stronger. So let's go throw this thing. 